All right, guys, New Age Tactical back with another video. Flashlight. <clears throat> Still going on Black Friday, even though it's like four months later. <laughs> So this bad boy is the uh, Skyven Olight Warrior. Like I said in a previous video, went a little wild, and I ordered a couple of Olights I wanted. How much was this one? This one was on the more expensive side. I have to look it up. This one is... A little bit of a Mac... Not a Mac Daddy, I'm not going to say that, but... And it comes with battery case included. So... That's pretty cool. Carry some extra batteries. Dude, that's a beefy f***er. The Olight Warrior Mini. Um, on Olight's website, it's seventy nine ninety five. I definitely didn't pay that. I think I paid 49 or 59 I think it was Somewhere around there. Yeah. Dual switch tactical EDC light can produce... It can produce a beam of 190 meters at an output of 1,500 lumens despite its compact size. Tail switch for, for tacticality. It's actually used here. Damn, something I'm not good at. You made that joke already. I'll make it every time I see it. Oh, yeah. That is pretty badass. So I'm assuming... So it runs on your the 18650s. So what's the battery case for? This looks like for it takes when you CR buy more. Come on, dude, really? Like it don't fit. Go the other way, jackass. That's not the way the grooves are. What? It goes both ways. Like <laughs> I knew you were going there. <laughs> oh, I guess. All right. So I've already got a lot of things I like about this, and I haven't even turned it on yet. There's your charging charging cable, your lanyard. This is a, this is a good backpack flashlight. The tail light's not turning it on. Hmm. <coughs> got it. What? Was it not tight enough? So it's your quick, it's your but quick it's, turn on mode. But it says if you press hard, it goes into turbo. Mode. Yeah, press real hard, you feel like a clack. Yeah, oh. see it. <laughs> do you have to animate your face every time you do it? <laughs> All right, now I'm in love. Okay. So I what was love. it? Was it did it need tightening? Yeah, I was. It was literally like that. Literally that. Little okay. Bit. All right, so now that we've read the instructions, I've I've always liked Olight. I love the blue bezels. I love the blue accents on it. That's just obviously that's Olight, so I'm not going to harp too much on that. What I really really like about it is I'm not a huge fan of the side switch. I never have been. It's just something, but I I put up with it. This guy does have. On the back too now what's cool that you don't see on a lot of flashlights is it's got raised bumps so you're not pressing the button if you just set it down and it's pressure sensitive to how bright it is now the question is it is magnetic oh! also. <laughs> Say, what? I like it Again, this is not an EDC. Or I, you know what? I've seen some ED guys with pocket dumps that have had way bigger <laughs> flashlights than this. So we can't say it's not an EDC or uh, EDC uh, flashlight. For me, it's a little too robust to keep in my pocket all the time. But this is definitely going on my bag, on my visor somewhere. So the pressure sensitive switch, though, on the tail. So you have your regular, just normal mode. And then if you press it, hard it goes ah, in the turbo here we mode. go i got that on camera <laughs> so and then you press and hold for two seconds to get the moonlight just like the s1 arbiton it came on i saw it did it yeah triple click is oh triple click is strobe yeah so double click is turbo turbo 
Turbo. All right, so let's give this bitch a shot. One lumen. Then we're going to go... Can't see the ground, though. All right, so this is 15 lumens. 120. Okay, I'm going to definitely change the settings after this. Go for it. Yep. 500. I'm raising the aperture to 11, which I've never done for a flashlight before. Then you have turbo! <laughs> which kind of looked the same a little bit. No, look how much brighter it is out of the camera. I guess so, yeah. Yeah, the camera's not doing it justice. Oh, the tail switch brings it back to whatever you had it does. It memorizes the setting. Oh, okay. So, so I actually can only pick up the umbrella in you low. You can't pick up the 18? Barely. Someone might be able to see it on camera. All right, so then... Okay, so now I can see the 18. I can barely see and, the 30. And so then high, 500. Now I see everything. You could see the already seeing everything wall. and settings at 3.2 still. Okay. So then we'll go off and we'll go turbo. Jesus. Holy shit. It's like sunlight. The dude. 18 flares a little bit at these settings, but I'm not going to change it so that you could kind of get a full feel for it. Like that's no joke. All right. Yeah. That's how is the heat doing? Because isn't this the one that burned people's legs? Oh, shit. Yeah. And for fun, strobe mode. So this is probably where I would leave it in case I needed anything. But what's cool, I'm, dude, I'm, I'm, oh, why, why is that going on high? Did you press hard that time? Maybe. Yeah, see? Hard press. Yeah. So the tail switch, you can do a half press, which goes the medium, or a hard press, which goes right to turbo. I like that feature. I could tell you have the hang of it more than when we first started, like even with how hard you're pressing. Well, yeah, I mean, I just didn't know what the hell I was doing when I first started. What's lockout mode? Ten? Oh, ten times? Oh, no. Lockout mode for this one is when flashlight is off, press and hold side switch for about two seconds. It'll enter mood light mode first, and then, then it will switch off. All right. Cool. It's a fantastic f***ing light. I love it. Still would not go so far with EDC, but backpack, it's perfect. This Size, weight, by the way, what was the weight? Uh, it's a little heavier, but it's like a good heavy, though. Not like a, a it's heavy. I think it mostly comes from the battery. No, it's just got like a, a solid, like... Magnetized. 3.58 ounces. So less than four ounces. Just a little over four ounces. A little little over three and a half ounces. Yeah, I do it really. It's it's actually yeah. like it's warm. It's lukewarm. Yeah, at it, best. That could be warm for my hand. That weight is actually I'm not mad about I that like at the all. Weight. I like said that's that. yeah. All right. The grip. I like the grip. That's Love that's grip. kind of like the but that's signature your, yeah, grip. Yeah, that's signature yeah. grip. So I mean I wasn't even touching on that, but extra battery case. I mean, without an extra battery, it's kind of dumb, but I but it's also the rechargeable, and I love. Look, I was always like, doesn't matter if it's rechargeable or battery. I've been recently rechargeable is the way to go. It's just everything's got a USB. It's so easy. Yeah, I mean everything does. Your car has a USB. You you, you can't go anywhere without a USB, and. So, like, look, you don't even have to like get close. <laughs> Definitely gets a stamp. Stamp it. Um, Oi has done nothing but impress me with I, all their products, man. I mean, I, I'm not gonna say all what we've reviewed, I should say. But my question now is, does it run off two CR one two threes if you don't have one of those? Mm. Most of those batteries do. Nothing really bad to say about it. Hope it doesn't explode. The, the, I mean, my only real problem with the flashlights, and, and I don't think that there's any way to defeat it or to, to stop it, is how hot they get. 
like on turbo mode that actually burnt my hand like when i when i pressed it against my hand again you're not going to be an idiot and yourself but knowing that it gets that hot makes me a little nervous and like with the little sr1 olight baton before i realized it had a lockout mode which is my stupidity right right so yeah. not holding it against olight but before i realized it had that and it was in my pocket with the side switch and i leaned on it and burnt my leg the one time and it was like what the f this flashlight sucks it turns on when i didn't know it had lockout mode without that lockout and the side switch like that is so easy to press that button yeah i do like the charger it's red when it needs charging green when it's fully charged when the flashlight's on, the button lights up. That's pretty cool. The indicator light, like the baton too. Yeah. You know? And and I like, obviously, you guys know I like the, the anodized blue looking. And I'm not going to lie, going back to the weight, when you first busted this guy out, I looked at this clip and I was like, how would you possibly wear this on your hat? Now that I'm feeling it in my hand, this is light enough to slide onto the brim of a hat. Yeah. Slide onto your bag. You know what I mean? Like, this is... I'm just overall impressed by the size, like size to weight ratio. That's what she said. I actually was, I was going to say, I think after this whole, obviously this was a Black Friday special, you know, I think after this, we will be taking a break from Olight for a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. We, we've done five at this point, I yeah, believe. Yeah. yeah. So, but I'm happy with all my purchases. Like, yeah. not one let me down. So, other than that, guys, it does get the stamp, obviously. Um, that's not surprising from us. Like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, hit the bell. Other than that, New Age Tactical. Over and out. I love this flashlight. I really do.